If you're here to see Ryder, it's not happening. You have to call first. I, I just wanted to show you this. Take some time to look at it, and then we'll, we can I've talk seen enough. Get the hell out of here. You're sicking lawyers on me? Getting a quarter to tell me what to do with my baby. If you think you're in charge here, you can forget it. It's not a court order. I don't care what it is. Just take it and go. Jessica, Jessica, wait a second. I thought we came to an understanding. That you was me to have more time with Before you started giving me ultimatums. It's not an ultimatum. And if you take time to read it instead of getting hysterical, maybe you'd figure that out. Are you done yelling at me? Are you done throwing things? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted us to work out something that was fair for everyone, especially Ryder. I, uh, I had a lawyer draw up this sample agreement for you to look at and change if you want to. Why didn't you say that in the first place? You didn't give me a chance. Look, Jessica, you're Ryder's mom. You have custody. I just wanted something in writing about visitation so that, that there wouldn't be any more problems with your family, especially your dad. Just read it. You see that I'm not asking for anything unreasonable. This isn't terrible, but um, I'm gonna have to get my lawyer to look at it. Sure. Uh, again, it's not like it's written in stone. I'm totally flexible. So if you wanted me to have more time with with Ryder, then that would. It's a joke. My sense of humor has been having some technical difficulties. I had a really hard day yesterday. What happened? Are you ready for this? Because this is awesome. Natalie told me that her and Brody are now officially a couple. Yeah, I had, uh, I heard about you walking in on him and Natalie. Well, the only good thing about that is there was a time that would have broken me into a million pieces. But for once, that didn't happen and Tess didn't come back. I'm not going to lie. I really wish that she had. I can't help it. You know I miss Tess so much. And when I see you, your face is her face. Your voice is her voice. It's like she's here, but she's not. I'm sorry, uh, <clears throat> you don't need to. No, 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 no. Go ahead. You want me to talk about a woman who makes your life Miserable? No. But I do want to know, what is it about Tess that you like so much? You seriously want me to talk about Tess? Why? She's like this mystery that I can't unlock. I hear about all these terrible things that she does, but I, I don't really know her. And you do. I never actually thought she'd let me know her, but she finally did. So what is it? What, what did you find to love? Well, nothing at first. Uh, she's loud, selfish, really mean. Yeah, she sent a picture to my mother of her husband with another woman. I know. Half the time I wanted to strangle her. But there's something about her. She's smart, funny, and underneath that bitch on wheels routine, she's... She's just a kid. A scared little kid who knows that her entire existence can disappear in a nanosecond. But when she's here, she's she's more alive than most people will ever think about being. And when she loves you, you feel it in your soul. I think I understand now. But she's... she's gone, and I need to figure out a way to accept that. So we should get back to business. Yeah, um... I don't need a lawyer to look at these. They're, they're fine. That's a switch. When I came in, you threw them at me. It almost felt like I had her back. Just... for a second. We're all set. I guess we are. So if tomorrow's good? I will tell Ryder to expect you. You know, pretty soon he's gonna understand that. And he's gonna start talking back. I know. I can hardly believe how 
big breeze been getting. I, oh, uh-oh. Looks like someone's up early from the snap. I should go. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you later. Wait. Uh, do you want to come with me? Seriously? Sure. You can change the diaper. Okay. Mm -hmm.